Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 278. Vascular Tumors. Name all the vascular tumors. The vascular tumors include strawberry hemangioma, cherry hemangioma, pyogenic granuloma, cystic hygroma, glomus tumor, bacillary angiomatosis, angiosarcoma, lymph angiosarcoma, and Kaposi sarcoma. What is strawberry hemangioma? Strawberry hemangioma is a benign capillary hemangioma of infancy. It appears in the first few weeks of life in about 1 out of 200 birds, grows rapidly, and regresses spontaneously at 5 to 8 years of age. What is cherry hemangioma? Cherry hemangioma is a benign capillary hemangioma of the elderly, does not regress, and the frequency of this increases with age. What is pyogenic granuloma? Pyogenic granuloma is a polypoid capillary hemangioma that can alterate and bleed. What is pyogenic granuloma associated with? Pyogenic granuloma is associated with trauma and pregnancy. What is cystic hygroma? Cystic hygroma is a cavernous lymph angioma of the neck. What is lymph angioma? Lymph angioma is a benign angioma consisting of a mass of lymphatic vessels. What condition is associated with cystic hygroma? Cystic hygroma is associated with Turner syndrome. What is glomus tumor? Glomus tumor is a benign painful red to blue tumor under the fingernails. What cells do glomus tumor arise from? Glomus tumor arises from the modified smooth muscle cells of the glomus body. What is bacillary angiomatosis? Bacillary angiomatosis is a benign capillary skin papule found in AIDS patient. What infection can cause bacillary angiomatosis? Bacillary angiomatosis is caused by Bartonella hensley infection. What disease is bacillary angiomatosis most frequently mistaken for? Bacillary angiomatosis is frequently mistaken for Kaposi sarcoma. What is angiosarcoma? Angiosarcoma is a rare blood vessel malignancy typically occurring in the head, neck, or breast area. What are some of the conditions associated with angiosarcoma? Angiosarcoma is associated with patients receiving radiation therapy, especially for breast cancer or Hodgkin's lymphoma. One thing to note about angiosarcoma is that it's very aggressive and it's difficult to resect due to the delay in diagnosis of this. What is lymph angiosarcoma? Lymph angiosarcoma is a lymphatic malignancy associated with persistent lymphedema, which can happen post-radical mastectomy. What is mastectomy? Mastectomy is a surgical operation to remove the breast. What is Kaposi's sarcoma? Kaposi's sarcoma is an endothelial malignancy most commonly occurring in the skin, but can also occur at the mouth, GI tract, and respiratory tract. What other diseases is Kaposi's sarcoma associated with? Kaposi's sarcoma is associated with the human herpes virus 8 and HIV. What is Kaposi's sarcoma commonly mistaken for? Kaposi's sarcoma is frequently mistaken for bacillary angiomatosis. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.